What's up, friends? It's Jamie Grace here. I wanted to bring you guys along in the day of my in a day of my life in the day of my life <laughs> the days of days of our lives. Airing Tuesdays is that a show? I wanted to bring you guys along in a day of my life, which is so different right now. We're literally about three weeks away. Um, for my due date actually when this video goes up We're gonna be like less than three weeks away from my due date which most moms will tell you that's not really an actual date It's just kind of a general consensus as to when the baby may show up give or take seven to three thousand days But a day in my life is so different now as we're leading up to when the baby gets here I'm still working full-time with the exception of travel So I guess I'm working part-time, but I'm still doing my same full-time job. I'm just home a lot My sweet husband is running a lot more of the errands or like doing a lot more of the things that like I might normally do when I'm home But I just want to bring you guys along on the journey. So here we go I want to say a huge thank you to One Piece for making this video possible I spend most of my days in a onesie and or sweats, but a onesie is preferred. This One Piece onesie is literally everything and I definitely have had more than one One Piece onesie in the past because they are fantastic. Doesn't matter what the weather is, like you just wanna have this on all day, so cozy. So it's really weird because I've never actually liked the taste of sugar at all, but ever since about halfway through this pregnancy, I've really been craving like the taste of sugar. So I've been kicking my mornings off with some fruit for breakfast. While I'm eating breakfast, I usually try to go ahead and look through my to-do list for the day and figure out if I'm doing mostly podcasts or if I'm filming a video, if I have to do some music stuff, submit a song for a project, whatever it is that I have to do for the day. Then I go ahead and head over to my office and I work on my dry erase board. I usually redo my dry erase word every three to four days but I definitely look at it every day um, it has all my videos listed about a month in advance and yes that changes but it helps me to have at least a general idea of what I'm up to this is my desk area it's a pretty small little area I don't need a ton of space to work I do have some of my stuff on the wall which I'm pretty proud of from just life adventures as you see the wall gets purple which that's a little bit of a sneak peek of our nursery um, I'm really proud to get to share my office with our daughter's nursery so <laughs> I get to work in there while she's resting or playing or whatever. Um, for you nerds out there, on the left is the interface that I use for my podcast recording. And on the right is my interface that I use for when I'm tracking uh, singing as well as guitar. This is the microphone that I use to record my podcast. I also use it for some singing stuff as well as a vocal mic. And this is the mic that I use for my guitar. Check out the links in the description if you wanna buy any of these products or check them out. Then I go to get ready to record for the Jamie Gray's podcast. Most of the podcast is handled through my Instagram DM because people send me questions about dating, relationships, friendships, and that kind of stuff. So I scroll through my DMs and I try to stay on top of them as best I can so that I can reply to your messages. I also record the podcast series for the study in Proverbs. So I get my Bibles out. I usually use about three to four per episode, different translations, and just really try to dig into the studies as I'm recording. I take a lot of breaks during the recording to make sure that I'm really sharing um, what I'm learning, but also just what I've studied as well. So about halfway through the day, I typically need a nap because my body is just like, what's happening right now? I usually try to do all of my work for the day either before my nap or after my nap, and then whichever one I chose then the other time slot <laughs> is where I'll like do fun stuff like baby planning stuff or raw something on TV, but today I'm doing all my work before my nap. Um, but fortunately my work is still fun so we're still good in that department and I'm going through some of your mail I'm only able to do this like every few weeks if that because I like to actually give it my full attention and um, I actually like to write you guys back we have these thank you cards and I've got my sharpie somewhere I lost it here it is right here next to me some of you guys have been sending like really cute things for the baby like these unicorn burp claws. This book called The Tiny Mouse is written by one of you guys, which is really sweet. These are like these handmade, you can't really see because of my lighting, but cards that were made. They say like the Jamie Gray show. This person sent a whole shoe box of really cute little things for the baby. This one says Collins number three. That's uh, my husband, that's her last name. And they sent this like little list pad that says, let's talk about your priorities. I love tacos. This is really sweet that someone sent me a book that says to mom with love. When it came to me, it was an early mother 
Mother's Day present. Sometimes I get stuff from my internet friends too, so like I got this really sweet card from the Millers, Grace, Grace for the Millers here on YouTube. Also this one from the Ivy family, I was on Jamie Ivy's podcast. Jamie Ivy also sent this little shirt that says when I grew up, I want to be a podcaster. I cannot wait till she's big enough to wear that shirt. I also can't wait till she's big enough to wear this Relative Ray shirt, which is a show that I was on. Someone wrote this book and they sent it to both Morgan and myself, so that was really great. And then somebody also sent this little shirt. It has a full outfit. It says, not tired. And they also sent a gift card to HelloFresh, so thank you so much for that. This is Julia Fulmer. She directed the short film that I was in, Rachel's Pitch. And it's won some amazing awards, including at the Branson International Film Festival. I won Best Actress. And so that was really cool to get that in the mail. Backtracking a little bit, when I do get stuff in the mail um, for the baby. I'm not always able to keep all of it. As you guys can see, I'm showing you things that are obviously been opened. Um, my team is like, look to them and, and there's a whole process. And so I'm so sorry if you do send me something for the baby and I'm not able to keep it. It's not like personal against you. It's just kind of the way it works in the world. And so um, I do appreciate everything that you guys send. I'm not always able to keep it, which is why it seems odd, but it's why we chose to share our baby registry publicly because we just were so appreciative that some of you guys wanted to send stuff and we didn't want you to feel like we were like ignoring you or something. So as my day is coming to an end, I sat down and wrote some letters for a couple of hours and I'm kind of falling asleep now, <laughs> but there were a couple more things that I just wanted to say thank you for and just shout out before I finished this kind of part of my day. This is a really cool little handmade taco blanket that someone uh, made for the baby and my sister got one as well, so thank you to whoever sent those in. And then also, my friend Friendy, he wrote a book called Stuttering Steven and it's a book encouraging young kids to just embrace um, differences but also just like raising awareness for um, kids who are different and so I think that it's the kind of book that all kids need to read. It's definitely something super inspiring. Usually when my husband gets home, I make dinner, we eat it together, we might watch a movie and these days that means we turn on a movie and he watches it and I kind of fall asleep halfway through because building a human is really hard. <laughs> we also like to spend a good part of our day working on baby stuff whether that's finishing stuff in the nursery or putting together a stroller or setting up stuff for her here in the living room. We're both just really honored to be parents and excited to bring her into the world. Well, I guess mostly I'll be doing that part. We spend a lot of time just working on baby stuff and preparing to have our sweet little munchkin here. Um, and that's what my day looks like. <laughs> I take lots of naps, I eat lots of snacks, I still do work, which I love that I get to do my job because I love my job. And I still get to be wife and mom and spend time with my husband and get ready for baby to come. So honestly, I feel like I'm living the best of both or all worlds. It's really kind of a dream life and I'm super grateful. And also always so grateful to you guys for watching these videos, for subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing with your friends and all of that stuff. Thank you to One Piece for helping make this video possible. Leave a comment down below if you are a onesie fan yourself. I would love to know all about the cool kid onesies that you own. But thanks so much for watching this video. Click on the screen to see more stuff. I love you guys so much. I'll see you soon. I miss you already. Bye.